Hello everyone. I know, I already did an intro. <laughs> well, actually, you probably haven't seen that part yet. I'm breaking into the video and there's going to be another intro at, right after this part of the video ends. And the reason is, is because I pre-recorded the video that you are about to watch about the Premier Momenti yarn that I purchased from Hirschner's. Now I got, there were some few really strange things that happened between the filming of this video, me ordering the yarn, and now. <laughs> so um, I ordered the yarn from Hirschner's and I will say that over and over again in the video. It was only available at Hirschner's.com at the time that I recorded this video, at the time that I purchased the yarn. When I went to load this video onto YouTube, I started looking for the links so that I could link you guys to, directly to the yarn on Hirschner's.com and the links were gone. The yarn was not on their website anymore. And I was like, what is going on? And even my order had disappeared on Hirschner's. So I emailed Hirschner's. I was like, hey, like, what's going on? Like, my orders are gone. I can't find this very specific yarn. And they wrote back to me and said that they were updating their website and they were porting everything over to a new server or something like that. And what had happened is not everything had moved over at the time. And so I was like, okay, well, I. I asked about the yarn and they didn't give me any specifics about the yarn or anything. So I'm like, okay, I waited a couple days. I was like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to email Premier because I do have contacts at Premier that are like people behind the scenes that they're my handlers is what I call them because they answer my questions. They help me deal with any issues that I have. And so I emailed and I was like, Hey, like what's going on with this Momenti yarn? Like, is it going to be available on the website? Why is it not on Hirschner's? And so I was emailed back that I didn't get an answer on Hirschner's because obviously they don't know what's going on with Hirschner's. But they did say that Premier Yarns will be releasing Momenti in the spring. I don't know what month it will be released or what day or any of that. But also, Hirschner's fixed their website. It is back up on Hirschner's website. I will link that below. But it will also be available through PremierYarns.com in the upcoming future. So I wanted to say all of that because I recorded this video well before Christmas. And then everything, like I can't, the yarn was not available on the internet. It was not available to purchase anywhere. So I was like, all right, I'm going to hold on to the video and see until I get some answers and see if I, if I want to upload the video at a later time if I get some answers. Because it didn't make sense to me. What, like, why was Momenti yarn there and then all of a sudden it wasn't there? And so the following video will talk as if it's still before Christmas. And it because it was recorded well before Christmas, you will see Christmas yarn that I purchased that is actually on my shelf now. Um, and it's actually kind of funny because another podcaster was like, I think I bought this yarn because um, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches showed it. And I was like, I totally just bought that yarn, but I didn't release that video yet. And I just laughed at myself. Because <laughs> at this point, I think, honestly, like I am so synonymous with the Premier Yarns name that people automatically remember that it was me showing them even if it wasn't me showing them which I think is kind of cool but anyway I wanted to give you guys that little update before I I load the video in for you guys so that you understand what's going on and why it seems outdated uh, that's what happened the, the yarn was not available for me, for me to show because it was not on the internet so I couldn't load a video and then be like everybody's searching for the yarn like where the heck is this yarn she's talking about because honestly like <laughs> I felt like I was in the twilight zone because I just purchased the yarn I was touching it I was holding it and yet I couldn't find it on the internet as if the yarn did not exist I'm like am I going crazy like am I delusional <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the video uh that's all I wanted. All right, guys, bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. Today, I have another unbagging. <laughs> this time, I ordered some yarn from Hirschner's. And once again, it has been a couple of weeks since I ordered it, so I don't even remember what I ordered. So, I got my knife out, but I forgot. Hirschner's has this really cool dotted line across the edge which is cool because it's easy to open. See, it rips right open, but it's bad because, <gasps> oh, I forgot about this because it's been a couple weeks. Okay, I'm super excited about what I just saw. Uh, back to the bag. <laughs> New yarn. Um, the bad thing is this, 
I've gotten a package where this has been ripped and opened and that's the bad thing about these cool easy open bags from Hershner's. Okay, so now let's get down to business. Ooh. Got a free shipping code from Hershner's. Let's see, one time use only. So I can't share it with you guys because it's a one time use coupon, but pretty dang awesome pretty dang awesome okay so I ordered some premier yarns that up till this point has only been available at Hershner's and I was told about it in my Facebook group this is why I encourage you to be in the Facebook group okay now a lot of other channels have um membership which is great you know it's a, a way for them to help support their channel they have membership and they have like little secret videos and posts and stuff that they they do during membership I have an absolutely free Facebook group, <laughs> okay? Not that I'm, I'm not comparing myself to other people. I'm just saying I'm comparing the Facebook group to the membership here that's on Facebook or the, um, oh, what is that called? Where people pay and it's like a free membership on another website and they get free content there. I can't remember what it's called because I don't use it. Um, the Facebook group is like that. I post little secret posts over there. My, my my little groupies over there, <laughs> they post special little things in there, sales, deals, um, information about new yarn. Um, this is very cool. Okay, 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 okay. There's a new yarn. This was going to be a Hershner's unbagging, but there, I am going to also do a yarn review at the end of this video showing this yarn. So... Let me get focused because I totally, totally, totally forgot. What am I going to do with my receipt? Now I'm all discombobulated. Okay. So in the Facebook group, one of my members in the Facebook group posted that Premier has this new yarn, Momenti. So we're going to talk all about that in a minute. And while I was over there, I also saw that they had the Premier Basics in Christmas colors. So I got some of that. Because, I mean, Christmas, right? <laughs> Um, and I also, I'm probably going to use these for, I don't know what, but it's so pretty. I like Christmas. I love Christmas multi and I've had a really hard time finding Christmas multi or variegated yarns in stock anywhere because it's Christmas time. It's all sold out. So Hershner's had it. These were, and this is the premier basics multis. These were $3.99 each. And so I got two of these and these are in the color Mary. I got two of these in this order. I like Premier Basics. I think it's a good yarn. It is a very, very good quality um, budget yarn. It's a budget yarn, but it's a good, it's soft. It does not bother my skin. This is my favorite of the budget yarns. This and Bernat Premium. This is Bernat Premium. Are my favorites of the budget yarns. So I will say that. Now, what I ordered three colors of this. Yeah, this is brand new to me. I have never seen, touched, felt this until this moment. This is only available at the recording of this video, which is December 13th, I think. Only available on Hershner's.com. This is the Premier Momenti. It was ooh, $9.99 a cake. <laughs> a little bit expensive. Um, I always try to find coupons when I'm ordering from Hershner's. They're not always available, but um, there are coupons available. And now I have a free shipping coupon, so I might order more of this, depending on how I feel after this review. All right, so I got three colors. <laughs> All right, let's get down to the brass tacks. Premier Momenti. It is 437 yards, 400 meters, 7 ounces. This is a 200 gram cake. It is 58% cotton, 42% acrylic. It is a medium worsted weight, number four. There's all your info if you want to look at this. It says hand wash, cold, lay flat to dry, which is a big, it's a big bummer. Like nobody wants to do that. But 
I don't know. This is soft. This is, it doesn't feel cotton. Um, this almost feels like a polyester yarn. Like, um, not, it's not like a fuzzy polyester. It's not like a blanket yarn at all, but polyester is like really, really soft. Let me see if I can find one that has a tail sticking out. This one does. Let's get a close. I wish I had my big camera in here because my big camera does such a better job at focusing than this. See, this is the construction. It looks like. Can't tell if it's chain spun. It's chain spun. It's chain spun. I'll, I'll pull a piece apart so I can show you. It is, that is really hard to tell, but it is chain spun. If you pull the fibers apart, you can see that it's not loose threads. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is like chained together. That's pretty cool. Um, this doesn't feel like cotton to me at all, like cotton acrylic. This is very, very smooth. Um, it's got fuzziness to it though. I mean, it's not, I don't know if you guys can see. There is a bit there, see the fuzziness right along the top here. So it might get even more fuzzy, pilly maybe, when washed or worked up. I don't know. It is very pretty and soft. It almost looks like a heart. I love you too, yarn. This is very soft. This is the colorway Desert Vista. And it has, let's see if we can, there, that's really close to the color. This is beautiful. Now, I am not into like tanny brownies, but this is so pretty. Like this makes it pop. That is beautiful. See, it has a little bit of like a lighter shade of this right here. That's absolutely stunning. So this is Desert Vista. This one is Meadow. And again, it's like a sunrise over the meadow. Although that's not meadowy at all to me. Right? <laughs> I don't know. The lighting in here is really off because of the time of day that I'm filming this. And I guess that's pretty true. See how it goes like a little bit of greenish a little bit and then yellowish and then orangish. That is so soft. What color did I say this was? Meadow. And then finally I got, you know, I always realize my fingernails are dirty after I'm on camera, but I'm constantly cooking or in the garden or messing with my plants. <laughs> I'm always doing something that affects my fingernails. This color is hydrangea. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't even know what this yarn would remind me of to compare it to because the other cotton acrylic blends I have, let me see what I have on my shelf. All right, the other, the other yarn that I have that I think would compare to this remotely is the oh cotton something cotton blend by lion brand it's in a cake it is however all the way at the top of my shelf so it is at the nine foot ceiling and i cannot by myself get those those um buckets down to show you guys but because i have worked with that yarn it feels nothing like this and that is the closest thing that I have in comparison that's like a cotton blend. This is soft. This is not what I expected at all. Because when I see a cotton blend, I'm, I'm like, cotton sometimes feels rough and feels stiff. And this does not. And maybe it's not stiff because it's chain spun. I don't know. And yes, it's hand wash. So that's kind of a pain in the neck. But like so, I'm working with more fancy yarns lately. 
I'm working on, hang on, I need to pause this. I forgot to turn the TV off in the other room. And if I'm not careful, YouTube will pick up on the sound in the background and give me a mark for having copyrighted material in my video, even though it was not intentional at all. But the dogs keep popping the door open, and so I keep hearing the TV, you know. <laughs> Back to business. This yarn is really soft. I am super excited to work this up. Now, it is a, a, a worsted weight, a number four yarn, so I'm thinking this might not be the best for summer items, even though it is a cotton blend, um, because I tend to get, personally, this might be different for you. If you get cold easily, or if you can wear acrylics, I can't really wear acrylics. Uh, I get really, really hot, even in the, the winter time. <laughs> so I gotta be careful. Um, I don't know this will be a good summer top or a summer item, but, um, I don't know. My brain is really like, now I'm wanting to make something Obviously, it's going to be something... See, for me, if I if it's a hand wash item, I'm not thinking of, like, a top. Because you, you sweat in your top. At least I do. I sweat in my tops, and I have to wash them, and I don't want to hand wash it every time I want to wear it. But at the same time, like, I'm thinking, like, shawl. Because a shawl, you're not... It's not... It's over a layer of clothes most often. You're not going to be sweating on it as much. It's very much like an outside wear piece, so you don't have to wash as much. So I'm thinking if I'm going to make something out of this, it's probably going to be like a shawl or something that doesn't get washed as often. This color, this reminds me of Grandma so much. Uh, if you've been around for any amount of time, Grandma is Mr. Cinnamon's grandma, but she's the only grandma I've ever known. She loves um, and looks gorgeous in Southwest colors. As a matter of fact, her hair is about this color. Her, that's a, I'm going to say that's about accurate. Well, her natural hair is about this color. I think she dyes it now, but we're not going to talk about that because, you know, yeah, the oranges and the, the tanny colors. This reminds me of grandma so much. And I don't know, she likes homemade stuff. She treasures it, but she doesn't use it from what I've noticed. So it just kind of sits like she... She saves it for, you know, <laughs> I made her a blanket a couple years ago and it's in a basket in her, um, I think it's her den because they have a den and a living room and I, it's always in the basket. So it, to me, I don't think it ever gets used. And so I, hes I hesitate making her stuff just because of that. She also lives in Southern California. Like I don't think she gets cold that often, but. I don't know. These colors are amazing. Let's go to the table before I keep just rambling. Let's go to the table. I'm going to lotion up. I'll lotion up real quick. And then we'll go to the table. And I have to lotion up. I always have to lotion This box. I locked it and now I can't figure out how to unlock it. That way. I always lotion up before I do a review. Because that way, like, I have a fair, fair, um, test to the yarn because otherwise I get um, what I call Velcro skin to where it sticks unfairly to stuff where it will like give me a weird sensation. So I always lotion up before we go to the table. But yeah, let's go to the table. I want to work up a swatch of this and give like a true opinion because it's chain spun. Um, you know, some people might not like that. So let's test it out and see, but I got to clear off my desk. So let's get down to business. All right, so we're going to start off. We're going to center pull because that's what I like to do. Yeah, that was easy enough to find. I'm going to pull out enough so that I have enough to make a nice swatch so I'm not fighting with a cake. No yarn barf, which we like. All right, like I said, this is chain construction. It has some really nice flecks of different colors. So it's not quite marled, but it's definitely not a solid. I was so excited about this yarn. I like that Hirschner's every once in a while will get a Hirschner's exclusive yarn. You can only find at Hirschner's or Michael's for that matter. Like sometimes Hirschner or 
Michaels will do like an exclusivity thing with Premiere and they will get it for like eight weeks or whatever. And then Premiere will be able to sell it on their website. I love that. I like that it's not available to everyone all at the first time because especially for Hirschner's like Hirschner's is not one of the bigger I mean it's getting more bigger known now that you know the internet but like it hasn't been a widely known company for a very long time and I like that Hirschner's gets the opportunity to get a yarn like this and have an exclusivity with it so that you know you can only buy this at Hirschner's right now. I'm just working up a crochet swatch. I am using a G plus furls hook, which I believe through furls is a 4.5 millimeter hook or 4.25. What does this recommend? Five millimeter knitting needles or 5.5 millimeter crochet hooks. So it is recommending a bigger hook than what I'm using, but that's pretty. So we're just going to stick with what we got, right? And we're not trying to reach gauge or anything like that. We're not, you know, we're just testing out a little sampley poo. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog whining. I don't know what is going on. She's unhappy. She's on the other side of the door, which is not locked. She's free to come and go as she pleases. Her type of breed, she's an American Staffordshire Terrier, Scarlet. She um, has this really, really high-pitched whine. <laughs> it almost hurts your ears. It's so high-pitched. All right, so... I didn't pull out enough. Did not pull out enough. This is working up really nice so far. It's not splitty. It's not bothering my skin. It feels nice. It's got amazing stitch definition. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? But, like I said... It is a hand wash, so take that into consideration. And it is $9.99 a cake, which is not cheap. So, And I don't have any insider information if this is going to be on Premiere's website or when this is going to be on Premiere's website. But when Premiere releases a, a new yarn on their website, they always do it 10% off introductory price. So, although 10% is only $0.90. Cents. But sometimes, sometimes, and this happened with Michaels, um, they released that, that those two cotton yarns over the summertime at Michaels, and they were more money at, I think they were more money at, I cannot remember if they were more money at Michaels or at PremierYarns.com, but one of them was a significantly higher price. I think it was Michaels, but then Michaels does sales and coupons and all that stuff, so... It's a really nice yarn. Let's do a little bit of a star stitch because that is what we like to do. It gives us a good idea of what a specialty stitch will look like or how it works up. And this is a true test of a stitch because if you're going to do like bobbles or bean stitches or any stitch where it requires you to have lots of loops on your hook, you want to test that out with a yarn. Just to make sure that it's not going to give you problems with that. Because sometimes like it'll be really snaggy and we don't want that. So that's why I do the star stitch. Because the star stitch gives you the same kind of idea of what it's going to do in a bobble or a a bean or a bump or a popcorn. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how difficult it's going to be with a specialty stitch. Because most stitches are compiled of 
um, basic stitches like single crochet or double crochets or half double and you use those in different ways to make other stitches and the bobble and like the star stitch are unique in their own because it's not mixing other stitches to get a design you know it's it's its own stitch Turn it over, back to the singles to finish off our star stitch. And if you hear like a rubbing noise, that is not the sound of the yarn on the hook. That is the sound of my arm rubbing on this. Because this is a foam board. And I use it on, because my desk is black. Well, dark, dark, dark brown. Almost black. And so I put the foam board on top and use that to film on. Alright, so. That is our beautiful crochet swatch. Let's get in there so you can really see. It has amazing, amazing stitch definition. The colors are beautiful. And see how it goes kind of darker and then lighter and then darker. And that's all within the same color of the cake. That is beautiful. Oh, I love that. So there is going to be, from the look of this, variation in color within the same color in the cake because if you look at the cake let's pull you back a little bit this is still all the center color this is all one color but there's variations in that color which is very evident by our swatch and i really hope this is coming up as much on the camera as it is to my eye because it's like dark light dark very very pretty all right let's pause and then we will work up a knit swatch and see what we think in the knit i'm going to do something i have not done on this channel yet i am going to pick up stitches on my crochet with my knitting needle whoops and try to be careful because I don't want to split this yarn. One, two, I don't know why I'm counting. Whoop. I'm just going to pick up some stitches on this so we're not working two different swatches. And then we can see, and we just see it side by side. This is weird. I've never done this before. <laughs> well, we're figuring it out as we go we're figuring it out as we go that way I don't have to frog this and do a whole new swatch and maybe well I know we're not going to get to the next color on this ball band because or on the ball because these are meant to be larger stripes I should probably back the camera up a little bit so we can actually see what I'm doing huh Jen. I don't know if I can pick up that last. Hang on. Got it. I got it. I'll pick up this last stitch. Boop. All right. Now let's get down to some knitting business. Some knitting business. Gotta adjust my light back up again. All right, these are five millimeter knitting needles. These are Chaigu. Not that that matters, but. I'm just doing pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit. Pearl, knit, pearl, 
it. Now the stitches are going to be different because I went up three quarters of a millimeter, I believe. So the stitches are going to look a little bit looser, bigger. No big deal. Now this row, I'm going to purl the knits and knits the pur knit the purls. Knits and pearls and pearls and knits. So, let me ask you a question. While we're sitting here watching me knit, what is your favorite holiday movie to watch this time of year? Even if you're not religious per se, do you still watch like holiday movies or do you just not watch holiday movies at all? And yes, I will count Die Hard as a Christmas movie. <laughs> I know there is mass debate about whether Gremlins or Die Hard are Christmas movies. Mr. Cinnamon believes that they are absolutely Christmas movies. So I let him have that argument. What is your favorite Christmas holiday December time movie? Mine... From the time that I was a little girl, there is a movie called Santa Claus the Movie. And not many people know about this movie that I have talked to. I don't think Mr. Cinnamon had a clue about this movie when I was growing up. Like, it's it, it was something I watched every Christmas. Um, There's a little homeless boy in New York. And he uh, was living on the streets. And then there's this little rich girl. And her uncle is a bad guy. His name is uh, JB, I believe. And he runs JB Toys. He's a crook. Um, <laughs> anyway, Santa comes into play. And also, that's just the backstory. The, the main story is about Santa Claus and how he was chosen by the Vendigums, which are the little people, the elves. And the story behind how Santa was created and made. And it's just a beautiful movie. It It is something I have watched from the time that I was very, very little. Also, like the original Grinch from Mr. Um, Mr. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. That was another one that I watched a lot when I was little. And Frosty the Snowman. Those were like family favorites. Or Charlie Brown's Christmas. <laughs> Although, my favorite of all of those is absolutely the... Um, the Santa Claus the movie. And then when Juju was born and Juju was little, she became obsessed with the Santa Claus. So that's the one with Tim Allen. And I kid you not, she would watch it all year round. Just all year round. And to this day, she still loves that movie. Little Man, I don't think, has a favorite Christmas movie. Um... He likes the brand new animated version of The Grinch. He likes Charlie Brown's Christmas. But he's not really like big into Christmas. He's not big into TV. He's more of a video game kid. And then um, in the past several years, Christmas with the Cranks <laughs> has become... I have the book, so I read the book and I watched the movie. I just really like that movie. I think it's cute and that has Tim Allen in it as well with Jamie Lee Curtis. But don't get me wrong, I love like the sappy Hallmark movie, that the Christmas movies that they do. I just love Christmas movies. And I have not watched a single Christmas movie this year. I've just been too busy to sit down and actually watch movies. However, I've watched The Crow with Juju a million times since Halloween. She just discovered The Crow. And The Crow is with um, Brandon Lee. Who I think was gorgeous. Um, she just discovered that movie during Halloween. And her and I have watched that several times. Since Halloween together. Because I know all the words. <laughs> I've watched it so many times. Yeah I just want to know what you guys' favorite Christmas holiday movies are. Or books. You can tell me your favorite book. I'm just knitting along here. Doing just stocking it now. I did a little bit of seed stitch, now I'm doing stocking it. 
And as you can see, I am not struggling whatsoever with this yarn. It's not splitting. It's not sticking. It's gliding on both the hook and the needles. I really like this yarn. I'm not surprised, though. Like... There are not many, very many yarns that Premier makes that I don't like. And I don't, and I don't, I honestly don't think I'm biased. I don't think that's it at all. Um, because there are yarns from Premier that I just don't like. I, I'm being perfectly honest with that. There are yarns from Premier I don't like. And I have said that on this channel. Uh, but most of them are just, I, I really, really love the quality of Premier yarns. They're my favorite for a reason. They 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 are always coming out with like new blends or new color ideas or just I don't know. I just really love Premier Yarns. And this is not something that I have an affiliate link for because this is only on Hershner's right now and I am not affiliated with Hershner's. Um, not that I wouldn't want to be. Just, I don't think Hershner's does affiliate links. But yeah, if you would like to try some of this yarn out for yourself, Hershner's is the way to get it. All right, so we have crochet and then we have some knit. And it is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm enjoying working with it, so I'm going to make a couple more rows. <laughs> that's all right with y'all oh I started twisting my stitches dang it man habits die hard right I think this would make a nice hat. Because with the cotton in there, it will breathe a little bit better than acrylic. And because I live in a warm climate, I just think like that would be beneficial. I knit that one a little bit tighter. It's sticking a little bit. Oh, I split this one. I split that one. There we go. Problem solved. Having difficulties. See, and now that I said it's not splitting, this last stitch is splitting on me. No, you're going to split. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slip you. <laughs> uh, now I'm having difficulties. Did I split this whole row? What the heck? See, I went too fast. Now it's splitting. This is why I do swatches, guys. This is why. There we go. I got it. We're back in business. I'm back to just doing knit pearl, knit pearl. Now I'm making myself nervous. Slow your roll, Jen. The dogs are in here staring at me. I know you can hear them walking around. Scarlet's loud. She walks like, and she's only about a 45, 50 pound dog. She walks like she's 200 pounds. You should hear her come down the stairs. Like, she comes down like a herd of elephants. Can I ask why you're licking my elbow? What do you need? Do you love me? Do you love me? Are you a good girl? 
You even lick loud. You even lick loud. Get down. Get off my leg. Get down. Thank you. I don't know what she wants. She has food and water. The doggy door is open. I think I know what it is because we've been out of town. They are so needy. I missed you. I missed you. We about lost her mind when we came from out of town, came back in the door. We're almost to the end of this knit swatch and then I can show you guys. Kind of glad I did these all on one swatch so that we could do a side by side comparison. That's kind of a cool idea. We might have to do that more often. Alright. Take it off the needles and just lay it down. Just lay it down. Right? This is crochet. This is knit. It looks absolutely beautiful. Either way, I kind of prefer it in the crochet right now. I mean, this, the, the knit is beautiful, but I'm liking the way it's, the stitch definition is on the, the crochet. What do you guys think? What do you think? Bring my light back down closer. I think that's really pretty. It works up really nice. It has, it feels more cotton when it's worked up. Like there's just a certain feel that cotton has than it does in the skein, but it is it feels nice and I would love to wear this as a garment. I think it's beautiful. Like I said, the only huge downfall and this right here, this is the seed stitch in knit. The only downfall is that it is a hand wash lay flat to dry. That's the major downfall. So you're not going to want to use this for a gift for someone who doesn't like to hand wash stuff. This is not going to be a baby type item. But this is going to make a beautiful garment for someone who wants to. But I, I really think this will make a beautiful shawl. And it will probably make a beautiful over top that you're going to wear like a tank top or something under. Just so that you don't have to wash it by hand a lot. I think this yarn is fantastic. It is beautiful. I am most definitely going to buy some more when I decide what I need to make with it. 437 yards. I mean, that's about $2.00. If I'm doing my math right, it's two dollars and something cents per hundred yards. It's not the best price. Um, nine ninety nine for a cake is on the expensive side, but it is really a beautiful yarn, and it feels just <laughs> it feels better in the cake than it does worked up because you can feel the stitches. But it still is just like I really like it. I really like it. So to the person who recommended me this yarn in my Facebook group and with the question of what is my opinion, my opinion is if you don't mind hand washing something, you will love this yarn. And we're just going to tuck our little sample in there. Pretend it never happened. We put it back on the shelf. All right. Do I recommend this? If you don't mind hand washing and lay flat to dry, I absolutely, absolutely recommend this yarn. This is beautiful. It is soft. Um, it does have, I think it's going to halo a lot more with wear and tear because it's cotton, but yeah, don't throw this in the washer. I would not because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen is it's going to get them fuzzballs are just going to fall away. Oh yeah. I really like this yarn. All right. That is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching again. Premier Momenti. It is only available as of the filming of this video at Hirschner's. I will let you know if and when it becomes available on Premier's website, of course. Um, check it out for yourself. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.